today we're gonna do some more fame farming that's right we're fame farming in a static zone switching to bear and we are going to eat the roast pork here so we can do some aoe farming i did i did a group dungeon didn't really get that much i hear someone fighting in the distance there's only four other people in this zone and of course one of them is here farming because well it's a damn good farm so why wouldn't you farm here so let's get started we're starting today at um a 106.275 million combat fame credits and uh since that guy's already got the farm i'll just drag some more into his uh his little pile there and uh this should be triple archer yeah there it is triple archer right here and uh we'll go ahead and start farming this little hard pile there is a boss in the middle i would like to claim but i have to clear this first you can see i'm actually getting beat up pretty hard here but um i should be all right i mean i'm pretty geared and i know what i'm doing and he's gonna run past me and try to kill the boss i'm sure of it uh yeah that's what he's doing so i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna try to mount up and steal the boss look at him go Definitely want this boss, because that is loot, and that is also fame. So it looks like I've got the boss. Now, uh, it is a little hard to chain pull both of these. You can see my health is dropping a little bit. But if I just play good enough here, three more seconds, I get a heal. And, oh, don't want to stand in that. Look at my HP drop. Let's go ahead and armor shred the bad guys. Hit them with our AoEs. And we didn't heal too much from that, but I, I still got it. We're good. There we go. We get the loot. Awesome stuff. And 101,000. Actually, that's actually really good. Most of the time, those chests aren't that Gucci, but this guy, well, he's not quite as geared as me. So, uh, oh, we got another one here. That guy is, you know, geared, and he's playing a more safe build. So, uh, just uh, just uh, some simple farming here today. Nothing too crazy. And uh, used to you could attack while frozen, but they fixed that, so it does make these mobs slightly harder, but not not too much, man. They're still pretty easy. 20k on the tome there. That's pretty good. Can I get both of these? I don't have a heal at the moment, so this is kind of a kind of a harder pull. I want the archers to bunch up together, like so. I can also grab this melee. Alright, the archers are about as grouped up as they're going to get, because they do like to skitter around and dodge and weave and, you know, do the things that archers do. Make uh, themselves a real pain in the butt. But uh, we got this. I am using the Mage Cal today. I was experimenting with other helmets, but I figured I'd stick with something that I knew that was solid, deals lots of damage, and uh, that I can rely on. Just make make things a little simpler. And I guess this guy just wants to be in the video. He just stopped farming because I'm here now, and looks like he's trying to take a screenshot with me. I think that's what he's doing. That's what people do sometimes. They'll dismount, stand next to me. I mean, I'm I I just I, I'm guessing. I don't know for sure if that's their intent or anything, but. Uh, and some upgraded mobs here, and they're melees, so this is a really easy pull. Don't have to do anything special. Just a brief fire on them, hit them with heal. And uh, they did interrupt my laser beam, but they're already dead anyway. So very quick, very easy pull. And uh, yeah, he's just gonna. <laughs> I'm looking at one of your vids right now. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm pretty big on YouTube, bro. <laughs> it's uh, I mean, it's actually really cool, you know, to like have people recognize me and stuff in the game. I think I think it's neat. Uh, so, I think it's probably also neat that you're, like, watching a video, like, on your other monitor, and then it's like, Oh, the YouTuber himself just rode by me, holy crap. What are the chances of that happening? Well, I mean, I, I tend to have a routine, I tend to go to the same places, you know, week after week, so... This is one of them, San Gust Clef being one of my hangouts, one of my little hidey holes, or my little adventure areas, if you will. We're gonna stack up the two archers, preferably get the, uh, the, the wizard in there, too. Looks like we got him, and, uh... Of course, the archers are going to do uh, make this much harder, but that's fine. Shock them, breathe the fire, uh, you know, dump the puddle, hit the laser, and then they should all melt just like that. Very good. Grab the loot while we're killing them. That's a great thing about the uh, curse staff is you can do other things while your curses kill them. I love it. It's, it's just so easy mode. Go ahead and pull this entire little midsection here. And... Uh, Six seconds on the heal. Hopefully, I don't get bursted. I'm getting, I'm taking a lot of hits, but uh, we're okay. Throw down the heal. Throw down. Once I got my AOEs down, it's over for them. They just all die immediately. I don't want the tier two sword. Throw that out. That's a gross item. Don't want any of that kind of stuff in my inventory. Onward now to the right side of the camp. Actually, we can check the middle here too. Sometimes there's some pretty good pools. Like, yeah, that's. Uh, look at all these melees. I didn't want to get the archer over there. That's going to make things a little bit harder. But if I can, I can stack up these two archers, we're good. 
So we got our heal ready. This is going to drain my HP re relatively quickly, but if I'm skilled, just kind of get them in there like that. And there we go. As long as we kill those archers. The melees, I can just mount up and leave. But the archers, they can stun you. They deal tons of damage. Things can get really, really hard. And uh, I didn't mean to mount up there, but it's fine. Because we took them down. Pick up the silver piles. Because every little bit helps. And my mount is very close to death here. So what I need to do is just kind of run it into some mobs. There's some archers down here. We'll, uh, we'll just fight them. And uh, they should go to take out my mount. There we go. And then we'll just have a little little tiny three-man fight. I know, a little baby fight. Go ahead and take them down as quick as possible. I'm going to walk to the next group because I have 19 seconds on my mount. Uh, so that's why I'm doing that. Kind of move everyone into that puddle. Looks like the wizard's got a little... Uh, <laughs> advanced a little further than normal, but... These are just regular mobs, not upgraded, so they melt pretty quick. Mount is now back up, full HP, ready to rumble. Also, I just realized I had a member's count on my screen. That was that was for a live stream I did. So, um, you don't have to pay attention to that. Yeah, we are around 358 members. It's not too bad. It's pretty good compared to other channels my size, I guess. Uh, there's only, there's, um, the only channels that I know with more members are, like, girl streamers for, like, Animal Crossing. Other than that, I'm, I'm pretty good on members. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not an Animal Crossing girl gamer streamer, guys. But um, that, then that's just how it is, okay? We've been farming six minutes now, it looks like. Where are we at on our fame? We're at 107.2. So I think we've uh, we've earned maybe a million so far. Technically two million fame. Six minutes. It's <laughs> pretty good, isn't it? That's, uh, like I said, when I tell people it's 20 million per hour, I mean it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joshing you. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I, I really mean what I say. <sighs> And this is not even during rally time. This is just, you know, regular, uh, just kill enemies time. Also, is that a boss? That is a boss that just spawns. So I'm going to kill this, even though it has only 9,000 HP. And it's just, it's basically just a regular archer. It still gives way more fame, so check it out. We're going to go ahead and just melt this dude real quick. And it'll be like 45k or something silly. So whenever uh, the text is done scrolling, not that 8k, not the 5k, wait for it. It'll pop up any bit now. Go ahead and start pulling while we wait on that uh, that little fame counter there. And again, this is blue zone zero risk. So there it is, 45,000 fame for one little archer with 9,000 HP. And uh, you can do this in 8.4 gear, but you can't lose the gear. That's another thing that I don't get. Like, people are so... It's like they have something to prove. Like... They have this weird ego. They're like, oh, if you're in a safe zone, then you're timid. You're, uh, you know, <laughs> you're not a good Albion player. You should go to the black zone. And it's like, I don't have anything to prove. But at the same time, it's not efficient. There's no, re like, if you if the only way to get these kinds of numbers was the black zone, then yeah, I w it would make sense, right? But, like, it's a blue zone, and I'm out farming people in, in the red and black zones for as a solo player. Obviously, a guild and a people with hideouts and people with like 10 friends guarding the zone for them are going to be able to free farm in black zones and, you know, do the same thing I'm doing, but in a black zone mist, or not mist, but well, maybe a mist, but you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, in, a, in a static and make a good amount. I want to pull those other melees at the top, but and I'll just pull this. Just pull these little dudes, these little brosifs. Melt them all as fast as I can. Also, Wizard Patrol kind of showed up. So, the Wizards always ruin the parties, man. They're always, like, casting spells everywhere and making a big mess. The melees are nice, neat, and tidy, clean. You know, they're laid back, they're chill. Grab these guys now. There we go. And, man, if all these dudes were upgraded, it would be so much more. But, hey, it's still really good, man. It's still super good. Uh, let's see, only six people in the entire zone, and the reason why is because it's 7 a.m. UTC. So, you know, people are be, they're, they're sleeping, they're, uh, I think school's out, so it's not, and also I think it's a holiday, so people might be off work. I don't know, man, but it's still, you know, there's still not a lot of people here. People took the night off, I guess. Okay, we got, we got a couple archers I gotta, like, corral together. I gotta, you know, lure them all into one little space. There we go. 
Once the archers are bloodied... Oh, I'm low on HP. Look at that. I gotta heal immediately. Dang, I wasn't paying attention to that at all. So I might have to... I might have to flee this fight. Yeah, I'm getting hurt bad. So I'm gonna just chill for a bit on the mount and let them melt just a little bit. Go ahead and throw a puddle down, hop back on the mount. Oh, we got big boys being pulled. So they're gonna kill the mount, but I'm gonna have my cooldowns pretty quick here. So that's the second archer down. Let's throw this third archer. And we got this. Big guy's gonna melt from curses. A little scary. You know, just, just a tiny bit scary. But um, that's just because of the archers, man. Archers are the real tear. You know, I have I have nightmares about the archers, bros. <laughs> Let's see, what can I pull without my mount? We got seven seconds here. Let's do a little footsie pull. We got wizard. So the wizard's not not the biggest threat, but they are annoying to deal with. That's really the only problem with the wizards. And then we're just gonna corrupt everyone's armor down to nothing and melt the heck out of them as fast as possible. Uh, make sure that we're doing our autos. And yeah, there we go, we got it. Now, I'm also, another thing too, is I'm not getting the faction bonus because Limhurst deep captured, if you check here. Like, Limhurst has, has got this zone basically uh, back capped, so I'm not getting the 15% fame bonus I would normally get. And Limhurst was kind of guarding dry water, so I can't solo cap it. Normally, I would just solo cap it so I can get the bonus, but it's um, not worth it. There, there's just too many PvPers running about today. Now see this this pole here it's these dang old archers archers are my nemesis you know it's funny because i have the most weapon spec in archery so that's pretty funny uh you know because i mean if the enemies hurt you with archery then it's of course as a player you can hurt other people with archery too but look at that they just they just collapse they just turn into combat fame credits which i can spend on those stupid new weapons and um so, here's the thing, right? Like, like the weapons being teased, there was a weapon being teased that looked like a staff, but the tool tips for the, the leaked weapons are like animal faces, so I don't know if it's like a whole separate weapon line or what. Like, I would like to think that it, it's, you know, we get, we're getting a staff weapon line and a werewolf or some kind of crap weapon line, but I don't really know. Also, that guy failed his pull, so I guess it's my pull now. Uh, I guess he got starstruck or something? I don't know, man. Like, how come he failed that? Like, <laughs> like, I'm having no difficulty at all. I'm literally looking at your video. Yes, I think he said that earlier. Get out of here to your two items. Stop dropping. Bro, you gotta get higher to your stuff, man. It's not efficient for you to farm in that. Like, 7 three, Like, there's no reason to ever buy 7 point anything. Ever. Unless you're, like, PvPing in full loot. Or something weird um because by the time you can wear tier 7 you're so close to unlocking tier 8 just keep keep your 6.3 man like what's the deal is there melees down here that's two archers i don't want to i don't want to pull two archers man archers are not fun to play with they're bullies they're, they're really mean they say mean things uh they kick you they kick they throw dirt in your face because they're really dirty <laughs> Uh, look at all these item drops. Get out of here, Tier 2 Cape. Someone, whenever you see a bunch of stupid Tier 2 item drops, it's because someone, you know, dropped them off at the black market, thinking they're going to make big bank. Look at me. I'm I'm a black market trader now. Tier 2 items, teehee. This is a, this is a little baby pool. Let's get the archer to run the other way, though, if we can. He's, of course, now he's just going to plant his feet. And then now he runs. He's like, oh, I'm on a puddle, help. Help me run away. Puddle time is not skip is not fun time. Book, he's he was a book nerd. We found a book, boys. Yep. Alright, where are we at? 108.2, so that's another million. Two million fame. One million combat fame credits, two million fame. So in what 14 minutes we farmed four million fame, I think. Oh, the Bastion. What's the Bastion doing? Um, dude, that's a lot of archers, and I, that I don't want to really fight. That is a, that's a freaking, t that's a tough pull. So he can, he can do that. He can, he can do that pull, man. I don't want four, I don't want to pull four archers. I just don't. That is not a fun game. That is a, I could do it, but it's a hassle. There's three archers right here, and I'll do it, I'll do them the easy way. The easy way to fight the archers, by the way, is to just keep your distance, and they won't scuttle around. 
See? They just, uh, they just fall over dead. Good stream yesterday. Hell yeah, dude. Was it, uh, actually, you know, for me, it, it wasn't yesterday. It's the same day, so. Um, fun times. That's right. I streamed, I took a little nap, and then I woke up and now I'm making this video. Yeah, man. Alright, let's get more dudes. I wanted to actually do this kind of farm on stream, but with so many people hovering around me, it's not really possible. Because uh, <laughs> when I stream, I'll have like four or five people that just constantly hover around me and attack and, and mine everything in the vicinity. And it's like, okay, well, I'll just grab what I can, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're killing. Fame farming, gotta... Gotta be able to max out all the new, like, if the new weapon line is good, I don't think it is, just based on what was leaked so far, I think it sucks. I can max it out, if it's good, if it's useful for something like farming, or PvPing, or, you know, dungeons, group dungeons, soloing a boss or something, heck yeah, dude, right? But, um, it's not looking like it is. Also, these, see these arch, just two archers, if they spread out, look at how low they got my health. They got me 60% down. That's, that's freaking dangerous. Really annoying to deal with. We're 16 minutes in. We got, we got some more time left on our food buff. Let's get this archer. Curve him around the corner. Kind of curve him up this way. Get these guys. Uh, now, this is a tough pull, especially since I'm starting to fight at low HP. And I'm stunned. And I'm stunned. Oh, did y'all see that? I almost died. So I don't really have a heal now. I have to kill these guys super quick with everything I've got. And they're going to interrupt me. Maybe. No, they didn't interrupt me. Okay, they're good. Normally, they would have interrupted, and then I wouldn't have been able to kill the boss so quick. But y'all see how close that pull was? That's why I hate dealing with archers and wizards. Alright, so... One thing that I've noticed, if I got, I've gotten so good at pulling this zone that um, enemies don't respawn fast enough for me to uh, farm it as, as easy anymore. Or as fast, I suppose. Come on, let's get this melee. Come on. You can join the party too, bro. Everyone's invited to the Swole Benji Curse-a-thon. Where you all stand in my puddles and feel you fork as you die slowly. And it's not really slowly. It's pretty quick. Like, your health bars, you know, they're, they're very tanky dudes. They, they have hit the gym, and when they were alive, they drank their calcium. They got strong bones. And they just didn't have good equipment on them, you know? <laughs> SBI is actually thinking about making a new type of mob, and it's not really like a mob, it's more like a, like a dead player controlled by AI. So I'll try to explain it for those that aren't in the know. Uh, essentially, well, um, when you kill a player, you know, they have some gear left on them. And this is probably years away from, like, ever showing itself in the game. So when you kill a player, you know, there's just like a freaking item bag on the ground, right? So what they're proposing is that if no one loots the player after a while, there's a chance for them to raise as an undead and roam around the world, like kind of as a loot box. And so if you see an undead player, uh, they'll they'll be wearing the items and fighting, you know, with the item abilities, right? It's so like if I died, I'd be walking around as a zombie with 8.4 gear that didn't trash. And uh, you could fight the zombified version of me and then take whatever loot remains. Basically, it turns just... Like, like, like th think of it like this. In a big ZVZ, there's tons of just loot bags that people can't check because there's hundreds and hundreds of loot bags. And yes, I know that rats are very diligent, but a lot of times people don't clean up the trash. They don't trash the trash, so there's just loot bags everywhere. They're proposing that, you know, the ones with actual loot still on them become zombies and that you can fight. And it feels like a fun little reward. But who knows if they'll even ever make it into the game, right? It's just one of those, like early stage things that they actually stole the idea from a player so uh <laughs> and they didn't steal it they uh they're like oh hey send us your idea and we'll give you we'll give you a prize so you legally can't sue us if we use your idea haha <laughs> teehee <laughs> sneaky companies sneaky company tag i want to do dude for archer pull these guys aren't gonna give up so I don't, I don't know, maybe they will if I go a little bit this way. Just a little bit this way. Get the, this is just a little four pool, you know, little, little baby pools. I didn't corrupting their armor. That is not good English. I got one of those, hey, the other day, I got one of those steam scammers that contacted me, right? So, here's the thing, like, I used to play Dead by Daylight, and I still kind of do sometimes, but, um, 
like just a random Steam screenshot that I had of Dead by Daylight, randomly saved, probably on accident because I button mashed or something. Uh, some random person, you know, leaves a comment that's like, hey, contact me or add me, I need to talk to you. And I'm like, okay, whatever, why not? So I add them on Steam and they're like, oh, hey, I accidentally reported your account. Uh, but you'll have to talk to, to Steam admin to um, not get banned, okay? And then, of course, you know, they try to link some profile and get you on a Discord so you can click a, another link and lose all your account info or whatever. But here's the funny thing, right? Because it never made it that far, obviously. Obviously, the person's uh, English was very broken, even though their Steam profile was labeled as from the United States. But um, they were like, uh, oh... I got scammed, and I was like, well, what game? Like, how did, how did they do it? And they said, Minecraft Legends. And I, you know, that's, that's an immediate red flag right there. That's like, okay, so that's a game where you can't talk to anyone. You can't, there is no trading things in that game with anybody. There's no voice chat. There's no chat at all. You can't even, like, add people, like, and the majority of people, there's only, like, what? If I checked right now, I'm here, dude, I, I'm gonna ruin my, my farm per hour doing, I gotta check. I'm gonna go to Steam Charts, and I'm gonna see how many actual Steam users um, my, are on Minecraft Legends. And yeah, the guy was like, yeah, this guy impersonated your profile. 46 people. There are 46 people on Minecraft Legends on Steam. Now, it, it is a Xbox, like, uh, Game Pass game, so obviously there's more people playing it than 46 people. But on Steam, yeah, so like, in one of those 46 people are impersonating me. Yeah, sure, dude. I actually check for impersonators all the time on Steam, so I know when someone's doing it, and no one has done it, by the way. Uh, so this guy, he's like, yeah, I got scammed on Minecraft Legends. They were pretending to be you, and I accidentally reported your profile. You're gonna get banned if you don't talk to the admin. Here's his Discord ID. <laughs> oh, man. But I kept I kept asking the guy, I was like, how did you get scammed in Minecraft Legends? He, wouldn't, he kept avoiding the question, and then eventually he just blocked me because... Um, he realized that um, that's all I was doing was asking him how did he get scammed. And of course, because he doesn't play or know what the game is, he can't really answer that question. I even tried to like give him plausible deniability and be like, just made up words. I'm like, did he corner you with foozle snoofs and uh, trade you some wizard snaps or some, something, some stupid silly words like that, you know, some Dr. Seuss shit. And uh, he, he, you know, he could have been like, yeah, yeah, that's what happened, bro, you know, but no, he... <laughs> he just blocked me instead. Um, it's like, uh, if I ever had a phone, I would answer every scam call, and I would just talk to them all day. That's That would be like, that would be like a whole separate YouTube channel. And I don't even mean like, oh, I'm fighting the scammers epic style, I hack their call center crap. No, I just mean, just talk to them, and just, just kind of, you know, wind up their gears a bit or something. But, uh, I don't own a phone, so... Not something I can really do. Let's check our fame. We're at 109.1, so that's almost another million right there, dude. Uh, every time I open it, it's like I have another million fame credits to spend. And and you know, <laughs> go watch some Twitch streamers who are farming in the black zone. Go watch people that are like, oh the the mists, the the Avalonian roads, bro. That's the best fame in the game. 2.9 million fame per hour. It's like um no. <laughs> And they're not talking about fame credits. They're talking about regular fame. 2.9 million fame per hour. We've already done that in this video. And it's so far we're only at 23 minutes in. Like, And then you have Reddit. It's like, yeah, it's the best fame farm in the game. Oh, it's the best fame farm in the game. They just like, it's like, I exist in a vacuum, right? People that can see and know the truth know the real like fastest fame per hour. But if you dare mention my name, downvoted to oblivion uh to the point where not even the community managers can agree with me it's so funny which is you know they're basically employees to the game and 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 they're misleading their own player base to go to the roads and shit it's so weird to see that it's 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 like a clown world thing i don't know what happened to game is this just an albion online problem why is it that <laughs> why the heck is it that um is it, I am, here's the thing, right? I am so vilified that even if I speak truth, it's, it will be discredited or ignored if it comes from me, right? Like, let's, you know, in the future at some point, some really big channel is going to enter Albion Online and take over the space. That's bound to happen at some point. 
but every every really big youtuber or streamer that ever comes here they don't stay right there was there was an overwatch 2 player that actually came here not too long ago he has like 300,000 subs his streams get thousands of real organic viewers not afk viewers um for his overwatch streams his youtube channel is pushing like 24 million views a month not in, which is huge right that's 24 times bigger than me that's massive and uh you know he's playing albion he likes it. his audience doesn't like that he's playing it because his audience wants him to play freaking overwatch too but he's already gone he didn't stay and um i don't know why i have no idea why because I, I don't have all the time to like ask the dude or do my research or anything but you know he he was you know like i'm i'm considered a, the biggest fish in the pond right now but I'm, I'm just a little baby fish when you look at the grand scheme of other games and YouTubers and content creation as a whole. Whenever one of the real big fish comes, it's it's over, right? And then w what's going to be funny is, like, eventually one of these big dudes are going to, like, have the research mentality that I have. Where they test out everything to see what is the best way to do things and what is the fastest way to get results. And what's going to happen is they're going to come to the same conclusions as me... And then they're met with a choice. Do they agree with me and vilify themselves? Or do I get a redemption arc where it's like, Swobinji was right all along. How, you know, but oh, he trolls Reddit, so we can't say that he did. Or, you know, yeah, we knew he was right, but we're just being an ass, you know, because he's an ass and he trolls us and he talks smack about our guilds. And I'm going to be long gone. I'll probably be a bigger fish in some other game at some point. And here's the thing, right? Like, so I'm gonna start playing Diablo 4 soon, like real soon. I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but I might already be playing Diablo 4 by the time you watch this. And um, I'm gonna be a baby fish in that pond because, like, Kriparian, he's got almost a million subs, I think, and he, you know he was always the biggest Diablo streamer in, in Diablo 3. Diablo 2 you know, didn't really have stream stuff at the time. I mean, it does now. There's a few people, but oh crap, I am dying. I need to stop talking. <laughs> Freaking focus up. Um, <laughs> oh no, this guy is watching me. I might die. Quick, mount up. Woo, we're mounted. Okay, we can melt. We can we can jump off, drop our puddle, jump back on, and uh, be a little safe. Go ahead and puddle him up. Laser him down. Okay, we're safe. We're good. But, um, <laughs> what was it? Uh, some about Kriparian, right? Like, compared to a lot of the really big Diablo 3 streamers, or just streamers that are switching their main game to also Diablo 4, I'm, I'm gonna be a baby for a while, and a lot of my videos probably won't rank at all. And, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna burn through more savings, and, uh, it, basically, I have a very finite time limit to make it with Diablo 4 content, uh, and the game can't die either. Like, if the game dies in two months, then... There's no point in making videos for it. It's kind of like uh, Minecraft Legends, right? No one searches the game. Uh, even the really big checkmarked 100k channels that have a, an entire Minecraft audience behind them. No one's watching their Minecraft Legends videos. It's so weird. It's like, in the old days, you could just be a, a charismatic YouTuber. And if you made funny, stupid junk, you would get millions of views. Like, uh, I, always, I always did the comparison of... Um, uh, like Arcage. For those who don't know what Arcage is, it's a Korean MMO, and uh, we had uh, we had these YouTubers that would make really amazingly super edited, stylized PvP montages, where they would get all these sweet, juicy kills and show off the best gear in the game, and a whole lot of other really fun things, right? And then the, you had the big, you know, comedy YouTubers that would just run around as a level one character, talking like a pirate and, and dancing and walking around town. And they would get millions and millions of views. And, uh, <laughs> I feel like that's not the YouTube that we have anymore. So you can't just, like, oh, I have a big audience, so now I'm a big, you know, new game YouTuber. You basically have to stick your head in the trenches and hope for the best and hope that an audience finds you with decent content and knowledge. But here's the thing, like, every guide that I can possibly make for Diablo 4 will have been made by a hundred other people who are going to be bigger than me with a bigger audience and a bigger legacy. And 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 that's that's going to be scary, dude. That's going to be really hard. And I may I may be able to scrape like 2k, 5k views maybe after a couple months of the video sitting and people, you know, maybe clicking and watching it for a minute and then 
clicking off of it because they've already seen it a month ago from someone else. And that's just how it's going to be for a little while. Or I become, you know, one of the trusted knowledge sources of the game somehow. And um, I'm just one tricking barbarian, so maybe I become the barbarian guy. And... Uh, <laughs> And people watch me or something. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Should I stream more? Do, do I? I have no idea what kind of content I'm gonna have to do to survive. But um, I don't know, guys. It's um. But my food buff is now out. There it is. It just ran out. So let's look at the results. Also, what's my faction points? 11k. That's nice. Um, combat fame credits is up to 109.7. I think we started at like 106.2 or 107 points. I don't know. But, um, yeah, pretty damn good. I don't remember where we started at. Was it 105, 106? I don't know. But, um, you'll have to rewind the video to see if it's any good. Repairs, 32k. And I can't really exactly show loot. I showed loot before, and then you could have looked at the number down here. And then look at the loot after. Again, this is not a video showing how much you can farm per hour. I've gotten plenty of those. This is just a Let's Play video. This is not a guide. This is just me playing the damn game and... You know, getting the faction chests. There we go. And uh, now we're up to 878k in looties. So I'm going to go sell that. And that's that's a farm session right there. That is a solid farm sesh. Uh, I know that I started at 91.5 million silver. And I'm at 86, I think. Well, today. I don't know what I started the video at. So uh, basically, I've spent like 4, 4 million today on combat frame credits. Yikes. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Please watch my Diablo 4 content. Um, I mean, I'll still make Albion content, of course. I just have to wait for it to come out. You know, there's nothing to do right now. I I'm not going to join a guild or anything. There's no guilds that fit me. If I were to join any guild, they would kick me out in, like, three days. I'm, I'm guaranteeing you they would just kick my ass out. And I'm not going to set alarm clocks and, you know, schedule myself around CTAs and pay their stupid taxes and, and all that crap. And I just don't... It's hard to make friends, dude. It's, I think I'm too far gone to ever make friends ever again. But hey, if you think you want to be my friend, then join the Discord. There's a link in the description. Also, you can become a channel member. There's some pretty cool vids down there. I think what I'm going to do for channel members, if you're not one already, I'm just going to make like a really quick summary video for all channel members so they can be caught up instead of watching like 30 members videos, which you might not have time for. I'm just going to sum up all the videos as quick as I can. So that you guys will, um, you know, I don't know, save you some time, I suppose. I don't know what I'm saying. But with that said, too, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. And, 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 on the right side of your screen is a video that you should absolutely click. Uh, so go ahead and click that video right now. If you don't click it, you're going to stub your toe and it's going to hurt for an hour.